go catch a rod. All right, all kidding aside, guys, this is my travel rod by Stenheiser. And uh, we just got back from Louisiana, and we put this puppy to the test. That's right, Brandon was fishing against squirrel. I whipped out my travel rod, my trusty travel rod, tied on a popping cork, and battled some big old redfish. We actually tried to break this thing. Is it going to hold up? I don't know. You're going to have to watch and find out, because if this thing blows up, it's going to blow up. That's all there is to it. But it did get the job done, bass fishing. Uh, what's really cool about it is that it comes in a nice little compact little deal like this. You can pick them up on Amazon, a lot of big sporting goods stores. And it comes with a little push button reel. And uh, if you don't want the push button reel, here's what's cool. Take your favorite bait caster and put it on. Run the line up through the middle of this thing and get after it. That's right. So, is it going to blow up? I don't know. We're going to try to blow it up. Stay tuned. Check this out. All right, today's show is all about Brandon catching fish and Darren, but it's also, we're going to test this rod out. Yeah, you've seen me catch some big old bass on my little travel rod. This is the Scott Martin Sten Hauser travel rod, available at a lot of good sporting goods stores. Collapses down, pretty cool deal. So you can pack it in your suitcase, check it out. Boom, boom. Go right down to a small little system right here. That's the whole rod right there. Now, I took the push button off, put my Akuma bait caster on it. Boom, boom. Go, go, gadget rod. This thing can hold up some big reds. It's going to pass the test, my friend. What do you think? Think it'll work? I think it will. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Get the camera. Get the camera. Uh-oh. Let's try the rod, baby. Travel rod. It's either going to work or blow up. I don't know which one. Oh my goodness. Oh, the travel rod is hooked up with a donkey. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He gone. He gone. He's gone. Yeah, I did it, dude. It did it. The little Very travel good. rod put a whooping on him. How about that? How about that? Not as big as yours, Brandon or Darren. Look at that. It did it, man. Can you believe it? I didn't. I wasn't sure. I actually was not sure what was gonna happen, but it held up. Nope. Yeah, $19, dude. 20 bucks or whatever the rod is. <laughs> like, perfect. Wow. Look at that red. Look at that red. All right. Here we go. All right. So, straight up, guys. We wanted to test the rod. I've caught big bass on this thing down in Florida. We just caught, we didn't measure it, 35-inch redfish big one on the travel rod and it held up 65 pound braid I think it was dogging me we actually landed it pretty quick it actually put a good whipping on it it really did so look hey next thing maybe we'll go catch a tuna or something on it I don't know I don't know if it'll hold up to a tuna but it did it did it I really had no idea what was gonna happen but that's what we're doing we're testing yeah oh yeah 20 pound fish BAM I saw a little, oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. I saw a slick pop up and I threw over there, long cast. Dude, he's coming at the boat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't go that way. Shanquita? This is a Shanquita redfish right here. This rod doesn't cast this little uh, bobber thing very good, popping cork thing very good, because it's short. 
but it fights them good. You know, if it was just one lure, you could cast it real good. It's got a little bit of backbone in it. Yeah. It's got some backbone. I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, God. <laughs> trigger. We did the trigger. Don't show that. It's got some backbone. Crap. Pocket fisherman. Pocket fisherman. All right, man. Hand him up, Captain. Smooth out. Don't travel rod, put a whooping on him. Just roll over Ralph, and quit. how do you like that, Ralph? Ralph is the owner of Kids Casters and Stenheiser, and he wanted me to test this thing out. Like I said, we've caught a lot of bass on it. Some donkey redfish now. Hey, we're going to drop a link if you do want one. If you guys golf, camp, kayak, whatever, you need a little rod to get the job done, we'll drop a link in the description down below. Check it out. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. Woo! Ah! All right, here we go. I'm kind of shocked myself. <laughs> I'm kidding aside, that little rod whooped them quicker than the other two rods. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely, it definitely got enough backbone to fight yeah. these bigger fish. I mean, you're talking about putting that rod up against rods that are 150, 200 bucks. Yeah. So. Pretty impressive. Huh. Pretty impressive. Crazy. Brandon's gonna try to net the fish. This could be interesting. This could be interesting. You did it. You did it, dude. You just graduated to a professional netter. fire Billy this place is crazy dude it's, it's crazy yeah but he's like I know man every day every day is that crazy or what dude hey that thing is like blending them in like three or four minutes yeah but you're small oh okay talking trash I see saying they're small I'm not Brandon, when you grab that net did you see a cork laying in it I know, Brandon. Your fish were bigger. I get it, man. You caught bigger red fish than me, but this thing did whip them quicker. I promise you. I don't know how it did it, but it held up, guys. I mean, honestly, I was sitting there doing everything I could to put as much pressure on this rod as possible. You saw the thing arcing. You saw it been in 65-pound braid. Big, giant redfish making tremendous runs. I mean, the thing held up, right? Okay, so look. When, when do you need a travel rod? Right? I'm not going to go fish the FLW Tour with my travel rod, right? I'm going to use my regular big sticks. But... If I'm gonna go camping, if I'm gonna go canoeing, if I'm gonna go wherever, throw it in the Polaris, throw it under the seat of your car, you can collapse this thing down. It doesn't take up any room. And again, being able to put your bait caster on it really opens up a lot of opportunities for the type of fishing you can do. Or you can keep the little push button on it. So if you got a birthday coming up, if you Christmas is right around the corner, you know, it's a great gift. It's a great thing. Hey, golf. I, I used to play golf all the time back in high school. This thing right here fit in a little golf bag. So when you hit the golf ball off in the water, maybe you go over there and make a few casts before you try to retrieve your ball, catch a few fish. That sounds like a good idea, right? So check this thing out. We're going to drop links in the description down below where to find it. Share this video, guys. Let everybody know about it. Hey, it's a cool little item. Again, it's a great little gift. It fills a need, and I uh, appreciate you watching. I cannot believe it held up. So I don't know if we're going to go try to catch a legitimate tuna with the thing, but you never know. We're going to do some of the crazy stuff with this travel rod. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping comments. And again, thanks for hitting that like button. Smash the like button, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to be coming at you again 
in a couple days. We're out. Bam!